What's going on everybody? David here. Thank you for coming to the channel. I want to show you guys a Premiere Pro tip and this is audio keyframe. So I don't usually use keyframes very often, but in this situation I really like using it because it really lets me control the, the audio. And so I have a video track here. I have an audio track right underneath it and then I have music. Now at the end of the video I want the music to start up and then uh, gradually get louder. Uh, but I don't want it just to, I want it to be loud but not too loud to where it drow, drowns out the my voice. So you can do a transition where you start the transition but you really don't have that much control over the volume levels. So in this situation, let me show you what I'm talking about here. That sound pretty professional. So. I've done that. Once I've done that, all you need to do is close out of it. You will save everything, and that will be your audio. So that's all you need to do. Okay, so you heard it just, the music just drowned out what I was saying. So I don't want it to do that. I want to be able to uh, just really control it. So let me show you how, let's uh, zoom in on this, on these tracks here. So let's open these up so I can see everything in here. Now, the first thing you're going to notice is you see these, you can't see the line here because it's white on white, but this one you can see uh, the line, there's a little white line right here, and you see where my cursor is, there's an up and down arrow. So that up and down arrow means that I can drag it up and down, and this is your audio track. So if I drag this down, it's going to be, it's not going to be as loud. Just multi-band compressor, open that up, go to some of So I can just run it like that and it'd be fine, right? But I want it to start uh, at at the at the zero decibel and then move up to a level that I want. So let me show you exactly what I'm talking about here. So let's zoom in just a little bit more so you can see here. Now if I hover over the area and I hit the control key, command if you're using Mac, you see there's a plus there. See that little plus symbol, right? Now if I click on that plus symbol it's going to give me a little dot there. That's a little keyframe. Now let's try that again. We'll click another one. Let's just move it right here. Control, click. Now I have another keyframe. So at this point I have two keyframes. Now if I drag this portion up, you see what it does there? It gives me another level and it, and it ramps up. It doesn't just go straight up. It ramps up into that level. Now this is great uh, as well as not just at the end of the video, but let's say you're working, you have a video going, and you do a voiceover. So you have music playing in the background, you're, do, you're talking over the video, or you just have music and you're doing like kind of a slideshow or just different clips, and then you do the voiceover. Now when you do the voiceover, you want to drop the levels down. So I can do the voiceover, drop the levels down, and then bring the, the music back up when I'm done with the, the voiceover. So let's, let me show you this. Let's see what this sounds like. Here, but I do want to have my audio sound pretty professional. So I've done that. Once I've done that, all you need to do is close out of it. It will save everything and that will be your audio. So that's all you need to do. Just multi-band compressor, open that up, go to some of the presets, check those out and see if you like them. If you have any questions, please put Okay. Now that still drowns out just a little bit more. I, like I would want it, what I can do is if I, if I uh, click on this keyframe here, I can drag it this way. You see, I can drag it all the way out so I can give it even more of a ramp. And in this situation, yeah, I want to give it just a little bit more of a ramp. I don't mind the level. The level isn't bad. It's just I want the ramp to be longer. So this should be a pretty good situation here. Compressor, open that up, go to some of the presets, check those out, and see if you like them. If you have any questions, please post them below. And that's still a little too loud for me, so I can drag it down just a little bit and put that ramp right at the very end of the video here. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe for more, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye. So that's perfect. That's exactly the way I want it. So that's, it, it's an easy way, you can really fine tune it and work it uh, the way you want. So if you just do a transi transition, it's a little harder to control. But with this, with the keyframes, I can really control exactly what I want and I can, I can raise it to a level uh, that I want or, or drop it down to a level that I want. Okay, if you have any questions, please post them below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe for more and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.